I think as far back as I can remember, I've always just wanted to make music. Um, I remember getting my mum to teach me the notes on the piano. It was one of my kind of first memories. And I used to just buy manuscript paper and pretend to write stuff down. I just always wanted to write music. I wish everyone had a really lovely record player, CD player, tape deck, everything at home with some nice floor standing speakers and an armchair to sit into and listen. I, I wish I had that. Um, but that's just not the case. And you can't complain. The only time it really annoys me is when I'm playing live and there's an awful sound system. And, and then I'm a bit kind of, I'm a bit gutted about that. Uh, because I stand there and I know it sounds crap. <laughs> and that's a bad feeling. Well, I listen to a lot of different stuff. I listen to a lot of classical music. I listen to, uh, I mean specifically, I, I love Bach. And I listen to loads of disco and 80s soul. And um, yeah, man, I, jungle music. I love early jungle music. I think really good music is reliant on good sounds, obviously, and, and that that uh, that can make you feel like uh, you're in the best, you know, you're in the only place you want to be. You know, if you're at a great gig or listening to a great piece of music, it really does kind of centre you on that spot at that time, and you know, you you, you don't want to be anywhere else. I think that's the power of sound.